Crews spent the morning restoring power to several thousand customers across the region, but with more rain, snow and ice on the way, it could be another busy night. Kirsten Mitchell shows us how the storm is impacting communities. It wasn't the day to grill in Forest Lake or venture down these slick stairs in Glenwood City, Wisconsin. Even the birds had some tough luck in Spooner. For this time of year, it was a pretty good thunderstorm. The overnight storm left neighborhoods like Don Dews in Barron, Wisconsin, covered in sheets of ice. It came down hard and it blew. It was like an ice rink earlier this morning. As temperatures warmed in Anoka, Michael McArdle and his dog Finn made it out for a walk after an icy morning. I picked up today and it looked normal, and I took him out for his first walk around the house, and this was glare. Real slippery. Still, he says this is preferable over the sub zero temperatures last month. We just got back from vacation too, so it was sort of nice to come back to this. Where were you guys? Uh, in Hawaii. So, <laughs> yeah. That's a big difference. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was very nice there. A lot of the ice melted throughout the day, but with a combination of more snow, ice, and rain, puddles like this could refreeze overnight, making things very slick in the morning. What kind of conditions can drivers expect? Drivers should expect a big change. You know, the storm uh, could change from rain to snow overnight in the Twin Cities. And certainly in areas north and west of here, they're going to see more amounts of snow. So making sure you're aware of that factor because that is going to slow things down. In Anoka County, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Midnot says crews will be assessing road conditions throughout the night and, of course, into tomorrow morning. You can track the forecast anytime, anywhere using our CBS Minnesota weather app. Find it in your app store by pointing your phone's camera at the QR code right there on your screen.